For a second time in eight years, Smithville is without a grocery store. And just after rebuilding, it's only stop and shop less than a year ago. Our Blair Schaefer joins us in the studio to share how the community is now rallying behind the store owners. Blair? Andrea, the fire took everyone by surprise. Just as people were getting used to having a store back in town, within minutes, it was turned to ash. It's really devastating. This loss was not planned. Around 7 p.m. last night, Smithville's only grocery store caught fire, leaving the city's people devastated. I'm very upset about it, and everyone in town is very upset about it. As soon as I heard about it being on fire, I came on down, and everybody here was very concerned. And he's still concerning us all. We've t I've talked with the owner this morning, and he's still very upset about it. The emotions aren't just coming from the fire, but the work it took to finally bring a grocery store back to Smithville after a tornado in 2011. They worked really hard to get that business up and going for the citizens of Smithville, and um, we hate that they've lost so much. We've lost too. We, we hate it for everybody. The grocery store opened in April, and since then, over a thousand additional tax dollars have been brought to the small city. So when Johnson says the loss impacts everyone, it actually does. It's going to hurt us bad. I mean, on our sale taxes, plus having a place for people to shop, and, and it's, it's just very bad for us. We do feel like we're, we're down again, and so we've got to work again to find out whether or not they're going to rebuild. And if not, we've got to get another grocery store in here so that we will have the things that we need. The needs of Smithville were always a priority for the owners. They started to bring in ground beef and fresh produce for the residents so they wouldn't have to leave town. But now the focus is no longer on people who live in Smithville. It's on the family who lost their new business. I just hate it for them. They're a great, they're a great family. They don't actually live in Smithville but had plans to move here. Um, and I just hate it for them. I, I know it's a great loss for them because they put a lot of hard work into it. I'm just hoping that they are able to overcome it on their steps and be able to come back for us. There is no new information on the cause of the fire, but Fire Chief Scott Morgan says the investigation will continue tonight and hopefully they will get an answer by tomorrow.